Mesa TV presents in three, two, one. Dateline Schools with your host, Terry Harrington. Some local students are getting the opportunity to put some of their school lessons to good use by helping some of the victims of Hurricane Sandy. To learn what these fifth graders are doing, Dateline Schools is at Keewadden Elementary School in Fort Gratiot, and my guest today is teacher Debbie Cox. And Debbie, what's the project the students are doing to help the victims of Hurricane they Sandy? They are making what they call kennel pillows, which are a takeoff on the tied fleece blankets. They take old pillows and cut them and tie them and make kennel pillows for the animals that were either injured or uh, found homeless from Hurricane Sandy. Great. And I imagine for a lot of these kids, that's kind of close to home because they have pets too, don't they? Pretty much. I've heard a lot of animal stories since, uh, since we started this project. Now, how did you come up with the idea for this project? My dog, Tackle, <laughs> who weighs about seven pounds, <laughs> chewed a hole in one of my pillows. And instead of throwing it away, I decided to make a, a pillow for my other dog, who doesn't chew holes in pillows, for her crate. And Holly came along when she came to walk the dogs and loved the pillow and asked me if I would be willing to make a few. And I said, sure. And as I'm sitting there one night making one, I thought, what am I doing? I have 25 students in my classroom that could be doing this. So that's how they got involved. Great. So, so why, why do you decide to do this with your class? I mean, what, what are they going to learn from this? Well, hopefully they'll learn that there is a world outside themselves mm -hmm. and that there are community people that are willing to help um, fund it and are interested in what they're doing and um, letting them, we kind of ended up doing geography and math. We, uh, Jordan asked last week about decimals and we got into yards and inches and all that. So it's kind of encompassed a lot of what we're doing in fifth grade. Okay. We'll be back with more tomorrow. For Dayline Schools, I'm Terry Harrington.